Uh, we're not hitting the ball hard. <laughs> uh, they pitched uh, well. Obviously, I have no solid explanation. We just got to keep working at it. Um, uh, we're just we're just not hitting the ball well. There's, we were doing the same kind of routines. The work's the same. The batting practice is the same, or the lack of it's the same. Uh, we're just not getting the results right. I, I, there's really no excuse. We just have to obviously pick it up quickly. Yes, and again, sir. the back to the right. Joe, you referenced in the pregame what happened against the Mets last year where it kind of like started going downhill and you couldn't stop it. Is it harder to stop a negative trend in the postseason like bad offense? And if so, do you have any other things to do besides shake up your lineup like you did today? Um, it's, it, it could be possibly. It just depends on the pitching. I mean, he'll pitch well again today. We're going to see a, new, a young guy tomorrow. Um, obviously, it's, it's, it's more of a mental trend than it is a physical trend. You've got to be able to push back mentally as much as anything right now. And... Um, because when it comes down to work, you don't need any more batting practice or any more video study or data information. You just have to mentally just hang in there, man, and keep pushing back till you get it. Um, it's just about hard contact. Uh, the overall, the at-bats haven't been bad. We're just not hitting the balls. Uh, we're not striking it well. And uh, so we're making it easy on their defense. But um, it's more of a mental exercise than it is a physical one right now for me. And in the center right, hey, Joe, yes, sir, after that uh, San Francisco series, mm -hmm. you said – you didn't think it'd be any different. It'd still be a grind. You didn't mm -hmm. think you'd pummel the ball. Right. Uh, you, you're, you just wanted your guys to work good at bats. Right. Based off that, how happy are you? Uh, well, we were working the at bats. Obviously, we're looking for more results. We did attempt to shake it up a little bit today, and obviously, didn't play very well. But um, listen, I got a lot of faith in our guys. Um, it's a difficult moment to be in to come back out out here on the first game here. Two more left before we get to go home. And you have to fight through some uh, pretty pretty stringent adversity, and that's, but that's how this thing works sometimes. And uh, again, from my perspective, there's nothing differently to do, except to really come out tomorrow with the right mental attitude, and that's our best, um, that's our best uh, weapon, I think. And to the right in the back. Joe, yes, you sir. mentioned that adversity. Uh, you spent, I think, one day out of first place the whole season. Uh, even in the first round, when you had adversity, you had already won the first two games. Right. Is this as big a test as your team is now, you know, going to face? And and how do you keep them from getting too, you know, pressing too hard about it. Well, it's just, again, it's, it's, uh, it's conversational. They're going to react to I'm going to react. Uh, I've always believed that. I've always uh, thought for me, regardless of the, the situation, that I have to be consistent when I walk into the room. They have to see consistency from me, which hopefully they're going to be able to do. But beyond that, man, like I said, there's, there's not a whole lot to do except come out and play again. Tomorrow I believe we're going to be ready to play. Uh, we do need to make better contact. We're going to have to pitch well also. Uh, they're going to throw that same – left-handed laden lineup against us, and um, so we're going to have to do well with that. But more than anything, I think we, we need to just get a couple runs or um, hits and runs early to try to get that kind of feeling back because obviously when you're not scoring any runs, it makes it even more difficult to end the dugout. And again to the right? Yes, sir. Joe, speaking of the, the mental part, in, in that eighth inning there, 6-0, uh, mm -hmm. Jack Peterson steals third, and then Baez kind of fumbles the ball, doesn't yep. go home. I mean, it looked like a team that was kind of shell-shocked at that point. Um, what did you see in that inning? And then secondly, was there any issue with them stealing third base up 6-0? Not at all. Um, the, the object of the game is to score runs. And from uh, that perspective, ours is to prevent runs. Uh, no, I have no problem with any of that kind of stuff. Uh, but what really broke down there was the, the stealing of third. We just need to pay better, better attention to him right there. But also, I don't know if that was a hit and run or that was just a straight steal with Puig. And the ball ends up in the left field corner. Again, an unlikely situation. Um, uh, I just look at it from a matchup perspective. I like Montgomery in that moment. Uh, and it just did not want to play out for us. But uh, not necessarily shell-shocked. It's just that uh, they're in an aggressive state right there. They... They have everything going in their way, and, and that was kind of a tough hop for Javi. If he makes it clean, he's probably out at the plate, and then it looks a little bit better for us. But overall, I've never, I've never had a problem with teams um, trying to attack on or add on runs. I've, I've never really understood that, where, you're, where they're trying to embarrass us. I've, uh, it's, our objective is to stop them, and, and of course, we're trying to score runs, so I have no problem with any of that. And right there in the middle. Right? When you face Hill for the first time, and, and he's a two-pitch guy, where you're trying to take one of the pitches away, and also uh, Rizzo had a really good at bat in the second. Right. Got the walk. I'm sure you were hoping that would bring him and everybody else out of it at that point, right? Yeah. The other, the thing about you're right about Hill two pitches, but he does different things in regards to um, changing speeds. You saw the the kind of like sidearm elevated fastball also that he's trying to do. 
Uh, we just we just could not generate. But you're right. I mean, Riz needs to to accept his walks like he did, and you'd like to believe that's going to get him rolling in the right direction. But we just we just couldn't. Um, cause we're not the last two games. We've not been on the barrel of the bat at all. It's pretty much been weaker contact. We got to get back to making the hard contact. We normally hit some home runs. We draw some walks. We will strike out. But we're just not hitting the ball hard like we normally do. And in the back left, Joe. Uh, yes, sir. Jake's performance, uh, gave, giving up those home runs. Could you uh, discuss that? Yeah, I thought he was in good shape. Um, you know, they got the one run with two outs on the base hit by Seeger. That's okay. Um, the the pitch to Grandal probably looked decent um, on a monitor, or whatever. Um, and of course, Grandal's not been really hitting the ball well. But then he grabs one right there. I, I thought Jake, the point. I thought he was throwing the ball well. I really did. Um, that kind of surprised him and us, I think, at that particular juncture. There was, even if he walked him right there with Tolls coming up, um, there was two outs, still a base open. I would have walked Tolls right there and had pitched to Hill with the bases loaded, even though it was first and third. That was what I was going to do. So I was really anticipating um, even, even possibly a walk, and that was going to be okay. I did, did not see that home run coming right there. And in the uh, back yes, to the right? Um, there's a lot of talk here about what you guys are not doing, but how much of it is that and how much of it is the Dodger pitching? Well, I mean, it's always, it's a little bit of both. You know, I think I, you got to give their pitching credit. Uh, we did well the first night, and then Kershaw pitched. Kershaw happened, you know, and that, <laughs> that happens to a lot of folks. So um, tonight uh, we were expecting or hoping to do a little bit better than we did. Uh, so you got to give them credit. And, then, of course, their closer has been outstanding. You don't want to, you don't want to have a, to be trailing after <laughs> Seven plus innings, rate innings right now against this group. The way that guy's thrown, but yeah, it's a combination of both. We just not have been swinging the bat uh, that well, and they've been pitching well. And uh, listen, it's uh, we've lost two out of three. There's time left. We'll come back and play the game again tomorrow. But we do have to do better at the plate. There's no and, question. Oops, sorry, back left, Jason. Yes, Joe Mark referenced this in his question earlier. Uh, you spent one day out of first place the whole year. You've never really been in a situation quite like this. Is this kind of a moment of truth for your team this year? Huh. You know, I, I'm so bad at, um, you know, drawing kind of lines in the sand and things. I just, again, for me, it's about putting this one in a waste, waste basket, come back and play tomorrow. Um, it's one day at a time. I've preached it all season long. Um, we have a very good pitcher pitching tomorrow. So do they. Um, we're able to win that game tomorrow. The, uh, the narrative is going to change entirely. So I can't, I, I, I can't get so dramatic about it. Uh, I just want our guys to come out and play our game tomorrow and, again, be a little bit more offensive and, and, and hopefully pitch like we normally do and catch the ball. But we just it's, – it's obvious. We just have to hit the ball better, and we haven't done that.